Welcome back, folks. We are back on Tony Baloney, the little stalker, and today we're going to be doing a quest line that is located in the forest for stalkers only, and it's going to reward you this shotgun, which is an MP-153 semi-automatic shotgun. This one already has the extended tube for two more rounds, so six total, and it also has the Sig Sauer Kilometer Sight on it already as well. This is one of those quests where there is a point of no return, and if you don't do the right thing at the right time, you get a much worse shotgun. You get the double barrel over under Taz shotgun. So I suggest watching through the video all the way one time. That way you know what you're looking for and then go do the quest. But with that being said, let's get right into the video and let's get you guys this shotgun. Welcome back folks. We are still on Tony Baloney, the little stalker. Uh, we are in the forest right now. I accidentally walked into a cabin and it popped up on the screen. I, I can hear footsteps. Someone's walking around the cabin and then this unknown old guy immediately like stuck me in conversation. So, so it says, as you turn around, you see an old man who looks to be about 60 holding a Taz shotgun. What are you doing in my house? Come on, Gramps. I was just passing by. You got it all wrong. He flips us off. Easy now, Gramps, lower the gun and we'll have a nice talk. I wasn't planning to rob you. So the quest, the forest not caught means not a thief is now complete. Uh, follow the old man. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. And this is going to be right here on the map. It's on the far east side. Pretty much just to the east of this crossroad right here. Sit down, crook, and help yourself. Sit down and take a glass. I was just passing by, saw a light on, and decided to go inside. No, I wasn't planning to rob you. The locals call me Woodsman. I live here. Nice to meet you. Alone in the woods like this. He says his son lives here. They're hunters, and they shoot all kinds of creatures. Why don't you live in a camp like everyone else? Your family. Is there anyone here besides your son? I hope that was a joke. You're looking down in the dumps, Gramps. Need help with anything? And the forest, the strange old man is now complete. And now we have the forest lumberjack. Well, all right, I'll give it a try. Let's go out here and open the barn. Uh, hit it with the gun stock. Oh, hi. That's a Soviet lock. Keys in the cellar. Run and grab it, will you? So now we have the forest cellar. Okay, we're in the cellar now. briefcase okay so the keys are in this little toolbox and now the forest cellar is complete so as soon as you come down the stairs this little iron briefcase right there is where the tools are go back up top now we're going to the door here choose a key and unlock it now the forest lumberjack is complete and the forest firewood for days is received now we got to run back in here and talk to gramps you're totally out of firewood Collecting firewood, where am I supposed to find it? Don't dare cut down any trees. All right, I'll help you out. So now the forest firewood for days is complete and the forest gathering firewood. Collect firewood for Gramps. Open the barn and take the ax. So now we have the ax. And it is an actual melee weapon you have to equip. Okay, so one of the logs you need to collect is going to be southwest almost to the edge where it says logs are somewhere close by here and it's literally just a big log laying on the ground here chop the trunk into a few pieces so that's two take the logs and also these things weigh quite a bit so when you come to do this have as little in your inventory as you can because that's only two of the logs and that's six kilograms another one is going to be just slightly northwest of the center of the circle here chop it into pieces another two there's going to be another one that's almost directly north at the edge of the, the little search bubble here. Pretty close to this tunnel right here where the crossroads are on this map. Chop it into a few pieces. There's another two. So that's two, four, six. There's going to be one southeast of it, almost at the end of the path you see on the, the map here. Right up here. I mean, it's right by the house, really. It's pretty much directly east of the house. So that is eight. We need two more. And the last one's going to be extremely far southeast, almost on the edge of the circle here. And as you can see, I am vastly, that's 30 kilograms worth of weight. So plan accordingly. Now you come and interact with this cutting block. Bring all the firewood to the barn. So that ends the forest working with an axe and you get the forest day in the life of a lumberjack. Now we just go back in and talk with Gramps. Everything's ready. I chopped the firewood and put it in the barn. 
Thanks. You look a little down. Is there something the matter? Don't worry. We're in the zone. Anything could have happened. Where could he have gone? So that ends the forest of life in the day of the lumberjack. You get a pouch of scientific first aid kits, two morphine and 5,000 rubles. That gives us the quest, the forest father and son. And now we're going to look for the son. We have to go find Jan. So while we're waiting on the 3 a.m. time gate for this quest, this is probably a good time to go ahead and tell you that there is a point of no return in this quest where you will get a much worse reward. You'll get a double barrel over under shotgun instead of the MP-153 semi-auto shotgun. And it's not a dialogue option where you can say the wrong thing. It's legitimately if you progress the story by getting too close to the NPCs at a certain part, which triggers the next sequence, that's the point of no return. So I suggest you watch the video all the way through the first time so you know what you're looking for and the exact moment that you're supposed to leave and pretty much abandon the quest. Honestly, if I were you, I would get to the point of no return and I would leave the zone so that I couldn't accidentally trigger the next step. That's what I'm going to be doing. When I get to the point of no return, I'm leaving the zone and going back to the bar or maybe I'll go farm in the dump, but I'm not wanting to accidentally progress it past the point of no return where I get the worst shotgun. So with that being said, I will see you guys here in about 20 minutes in game time because it's still 2.40 a.m. and it has to be at least 3 a.m. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Alrighty, um, apparently it was 2 a.m. or maybe 2.30 a.m. because he is in the hole here. And the hole you're looking for is going to be just to the northwest of the Dark Valley Forest entrance. And it's, if you zoom in, or I guess you could look for this on the map, look for this weird flower-shaped crater. And it's going to be just to the southeast of that. And it's a big hole in the ground. It's kind of hard to miss once you get over here. But we're going to jump down in here and talk to, <laughs> his name is Gimp. Hey pal, you okay? And the quest, the forest Gimp has been received. Offer a hand and pull the stalker out. And here he is. That was close. I thought it was stuck. Are you Jan? I am. How did you know that? I talked to your father. He is worried. So that ends the forest gimp and the father and the son. Now we have the forest, a bad incident. Hold on to me. I'll take you back. And then you get teleported back to the house. Oh, he's in the bedroom here now. So now we're just talking to Gramps. What's wrong? Says his blood pressure's acting up. Take the bag of medicine and give it to him. You have to, or, or you'll pop your clogs. What do you want me to do? So the forest, a bad incident is now complete and we have the forest cookbook and we got to talk with Jan who's standing right here. What potion? He's going to jot down a list of shit for us to get. So you say, sure, no problem. Now the forest cookbook's complete and we have the forest folk remedy. I'll go find them. So we got to go get five nettles and four chelidonium and they're not too far from us. So let's head over here and see what we're supposed to be picking. Oh, here we go. Carefully cut the plant. There's one. There's a nettle. And you're just running around cutting these plants. And they're pretty easy to see. And there's another area right over here. Hey, go away. Ooh. Carefully cut the plant. Cutting all the plants. We need one more of each. Did I miss one over here, maybe? I think I did. Okay, there's the last one of that one. I must have missed it over here. That's good to know. It tells you when you're done with an area because I went and got that last one and that completed it. Oh, it's up top up here. That one's kind of far away from the other one, so you might have to look for it now it's just going back to gramps okay so actually I'm, i said going back to gramps we're going back to jan he's in the kitchen and the herbs to jan forget it no need and now we get the quest the forest the offer and that completes the forest living well and the offer is to go and find his backpack which is going to be pretty much all the way down at the entrance to the dark valley so i'm going to run down there and i'll see you guys in just a second Alrighty, so we are over here at where the backpack is supposed to be, and it's going to be in the far northeastern corner of this. And it honestly is a little bit hard to find. I knew what I was looking for and still took me a second to find it. It blends in very well, especially when it's nighttime. It's right here. If you can see the truck in the background back there. And let's go ahead and examine the contents. 
It's going to give us a pouch of scientific first aid kits, a pouch of buckshot, four tourist delights, two morphines, 8,000 rubles, and 700 units. So now we get the quest, The Forest, The Gig. And we have to talk with the hunters. So back to the house. Alrighty. We are back at the house. Here's Jan. How's Gramps? He's doing fine. Thanks for the herbs. I'm going to say, what was the offer you mentioned? And shake his hand. I'm going to say I need to think real fast. I want to go talk to the old guy. All right. So I'm talking to Jan again, and I'm going to say, yes, I'm in. That ends the forest, the gig. And now we have hunting nighttime outing. And we have to come back at 11 p.m. So this is another time gated portion. And it is five in the morning. So I've got quite a ways to go. So I'm going to go and do some farming and wait on 11 p.m. And I will see you guys shortly. Alrighty, it is midnight in the game, and we are going to talk to Jan for the hunt. Where's Gramps? And that ends hunting nighttime outing, and we have hunting big prey. Let's roll. Now, this is the part of no return. Once you get to here, you have to talk to the hunters. They pop into existence here. Are we just going to sit here? And now we have quest hunting big prey, quest hunting splitting up. So it says stay in position. which means we have to go to where it's at right here. This is a good place to stop. I wonder how long before the beasts show up. Right here where it says, damn, was that a gunshot? Did the hunter shoot the beast? I need to find them. Do not go to them. Run away. Just go somewhere else. But do not move toward the, the quest marker. Once you receive hunting bullseye, just leave the area. You have to wait an hour real time. So I'm going to head back to the bar because I don't want to accidentally start this thing somehow if I'm farming in the area. But go back to the bar, farm in the area if you're brave and know you won't accidentally get too close to it. But you have to wait an hour real time and you'll get a notification pops up that says you failed hunting bullseye. And I am going to wait for that to happen and I will see you guys as soon as it does. All right, it was super early in the morning when I recorded the last part of the hunting video for the MP-153 shotgun for stalkers. So I went to bed, woke up this morning, and as soon as I logged in, I got the notification. Quest failed, hunting bullseye. So now we are heading all the way back to the forest. There's not going to be a mark for it, but we're heading back to the, the cabin. You can either find it by going directly east, essentially, of where it says the forest, or by going south of this little tunnel right here on the map. But I'm going to head back over there and I will see you guys in a second. All right, we are back over at the house now. I'm going to go inside here. And Jan did not make it. And Gramps is here. Came to see you. You're not welcome here. Listen, I wanted to apologize. He tells us to get out. What did you just say, you bastard? Do you see what happened? Don't you get it? No. And he says, we abandoned us. This is all your fault. If you don't get out of your house, he'll blow your head off. So you say, I'm sorry, and I'm going. So you turn around and leave. Now it pops up another shot. There was some kind of dull sound. It seemed to come from the basement. So now we go back inside. Go down to the basement. And Gramps shot himself. And at this point you get Jan's Merka, which is the MP-153 shotgun. Why did you do it? Take the gun and leave. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. You get the shotgun because he was going to give this shotgun to Jan as a present, essentially. But since we didn't help him and Jan died, he kills himself and we can take the gun. If you do it the other way around and you actually do the quest and help him out, they both live and he gives you his shotgun, which is the Taz double barrel over under. So you kind of let two people die, but you get a good gun out of it, you know? You get this MP-153. It's already got the extended tube for two more rounds. It's already got the attachment to put an optic on it. And you get the Sig Sauer Kilometer Sight. Which, let's go outside and test it out. So it holds six rounds. And it is semi-auto. No pumping needed. Fast as you can pull the trigger, essentially. Which, this thing fires pretty fast. But that is going to do it for this quest. If this video helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will catch you in the next video. You guys take it easy.